So extracts of Pope Francis's new book have been released. And I'll tell you what, I mean, it's kind of like mirroring the book of Revelation with what Pope Francis had to say here. Oh, we are going to get into it here, ladies and gentlemen. What a time to be alive. We'll talk about it in less than 10 seconds. First, if you could, if YT lets you try and hit that like button for me. Very important. Also, you please share the video Help us get around the algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, I wear the glasses because I'm blind. And as always, if you guys can help donate here to the ministry, help support what I do. Please see more info in the description. So Francis, yep, he's still at it. And wow, I mean, like I said, just go to the book of Revelation. Everything that was said to come to pass is coming to pass right now. Pope Francis saying that we need a new global economic system to replace the current one that we have right now. We need one that will ensure food, health, social justice, work, basic opportunities for all. What does that sound like to you? What does that system sound like to you, ladies and gentlemen? To me, it sounds like the beast system, right? One world, one currency, one religion, one ruler. Ah. But many will dismiss this as just, oh, that's not what this is at all. Oh, but yes, it is. So Francis, in these remarks, he takes aim, which I thought was interesting, at the United Nations. And he says that it is obvious by now that the United Nations is in need of deep reform. The, the word reform was something that came up a lot here uh, when addressing this topic that he used. He said, you know, the United Nations was formed to help prevent, you know, uh, any more, you know, the, the wars that we saw, World War I and World War II from happening again. And although he says that threat was obviously still there, the world is a much different place now than it was even then. And he also referenced everything with the cuckoo and how the United Nations, you know, was exposed when it came to that. He talked about, you know, the Russia and Ukraine situation and how, you know, the UN was, you know, basically exposed there too. So basically the UN uh, should, according to Francis, be, you know, dissolved. Which, look, I have no problem with the UN going away, but <laughs> uh, what you will replace them with, don't think for one second this is going to be something that's going to be good. No, no, no. This will, in fact, be, ladies and gentlemen, I'll say it right now, this is going to be the Antichrist and the Beast Kingdom. I got more on what Francis had to say in just a second. This got even more interesting. First, guys, let me put a quick plug in here for my Patreon. You know, I got to do this. I get no monetization on this channel. This is the only way I have to let you guys know how you can help support me. Plus, if you only watch these videos through YT Alerts, you miss a ton of content, okay? They don't like me. They're not going to support and, and push out these notifications for all the videos. So, Sign up on Patreon. You never miss an alert. Plus, here's the other thing. You can leave your comments there completely censorship-free. You don't have to worry about YT blocking and removing what you guys say, all right? Also, you can send me direct messages. And if you guys prefer to donate to the ministry through PayPal, you can do that as well. All the links are down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Francis goes on here. Uh, after talking about the UN uh, and the reforms that's needed, uh, also pointed out the unequal distribution of the pinchy <laughs> to various countries around the world, especially the more poor countries that did not have the availability uh, or, you know, the funds to receive their pinchies. As if, yes, that's what the world needed more of was that pinchy, as if it hasn't caused enough problems already. But we know that Pope Francis has been a huge supporter of it ever since it first came out. Uh, he also talked about the environment and how, you know, if we don't get this new system, you know, off the ground and running here, well, I mean, uh, animals are going to go extinct. Animals that that, that, that that give glory unto God by their pure existence. And he blamed humans for this as well, saying that it's our fault. You know, I thought of Greta Thunberg here when he was, Pope Francis was saying this, I was like, the whole, how dare you, how dare you, you know, you ruined the animals, they're gone, I don't know what to do, they're now all extinct because of your, your terrible efforts to help save the planet, how dare you, I mean, <laughs> that's exactly what I thought about, 
uh, as he was going into this this whole spiel. He then took aim at the free market. Of course, capitalism, of course, he hates that. He's a socialist and says that we can't rely on the free market anymore. That time has come and passed. Now, I, I want to say this because as he's talking about this new global economic system, it will have a leader and that leader will be the Antichrist. And understand this, that these people, you understand they're hell bent on getting this system off the ground and running. It'll happen in God's timing. Make no mistake, this will happen. You can't protest your way out of it. You can't pray your way out of it. It's going to come to pass. And in order for it to happen, you have to understand that they will force the population to be a part of it, okay? When they say things like this, they talk about the cuckoo, they talk about you know the wars and everything else like that. We need this new system, we need this new leader. You basically will not be able to exist in society unless you are a part of that system. You will have to submit to it. You will have no choice. The currency that you currently have, no matter what country that you're in, is going to go away, whether it's the dollar, whether it's the, the ruble, the yen, whatever it may be. It's all going to go away and be replaced by one new currency. There will be one government led by the Antichrist. There will be one religion that will be headed by the Antichrist, and it will be distributed out through the false prophet, which, hey, some people think it could be Pope Francis. Who's to say? He could just be laying the groundwork here. But you will have no choice. And when Pope Francis talks about this new system will be able to secure you food, secure you a home, uh, a job, everything that you want, if you don't agree to it, guess what? You can't live. You're not going to eat. You're not going to work. You can't participate in society. Remember what we saw when the whole pinchy mandates, the pinchy passes were out there, right? You couldn't do what? You couldn't go into a restaurant. You couldn't make purchases at uh, at supermarkets. You couldn't go into a sporting event. You were basically isolated from society. That was God's way of showing you what's to come. And since then, many of those have been dropped. But it was a wake-up call to prepare you for what is to come. You will have to not only be a part of this system, but you will have to worship the Antichrist and those who are behind it. You don't think that Pope Francis would be behind that? Of course he would, 100%. He'll be the one that says, or maybe it's a future Pope that says, look, this is the man. This is our, our, our Savior. This is our Messiah. We must worship this, this individual, this man. You must submit to him. And this system, this is for the benefit of the world. This is for the world peace. This is for our brothers and sisters around the world, for the common good. You know, and he talked about having to rethink the world, rethink the way that the world structure is, reimagine. These are all the big words they like to use all the time when they talk about this subject. Bible prophecy. It's being played out right before us, ladies and gentlemen. Be prepared for what's to come. And you need, to, as I always say, you need a supernatural faith in these last days to be able to endure to the end. I'll put more on this for you guys down below here in the description. You can let me know your thoughts. Um, but I'm not done just yet. I don't leave any video here without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. If that's you, you're watching right now, you're someone that has not yet accepted Christ into their life, I want to give you this opportunity to do that right now because Jesus is coming soon and you want to be saved. The first thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That's something that we all are. The good news, though, is this. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then you just jump right back in your old ways. No, it means to turn from lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he wipes your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today.
Again, I'll have more on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.